iOS 16.6 public beta is coming. Here's what's new iOS 17th of May soon be Apple's focus of iPhone software, but that doesn't mean work on iOS 16 has completely stopped. The latest iOS 16 beta is now available for download on your iPhone if you have one. About Apple's public beta program participants. Specifically, Apple is giving beta testers access to iOS 16.6, which arrives shortly after the full release of iOS 16.5 earlier this month. If you thought iOS 16.5 had enough updates and improvements, the pace of change has slowed down even more with iOS 16.6. That's because it's been almost a year since Apple first previewed the iOS 16 update, and nine months since the original release became available to the public. Since then, Apple has released five major updates to its iPhone software, adding everything from iOS 16.1's Live Actions to iOS 16.4's New Emoji. The latest update, iOS 16.5, brought a new My Sports tab to the built-in news app, but as far as changes go, that's about it. Since we're still in the first beta of iOS 16.6, we wouldn't. Don't expect a full release until sometime later in June. This means that when WWDC 2023 starts on June 5th, we will likely get a preview of iOS 17 while iOS 16.6 is in beta. iOS 17 brings many major changes, with Apple rumored to add active widgets and major updates to the wallet and health apps, among other potential changes. Before iOS 17 previews next month, Here's what you need to know about iOS 16.6. How can I download iOS 16.6 beta? We have full instructions on how to download the iOS 16 public beta, but in short, you'll first need to register your device in Apple's public beta program. On your iPhone, go to the Apple Beta Developer Program page and follow the on-screen sign-up instructions. If you sign up for the program, or have already signed up, you can check for iOS beta downloads by opening settings, selecting general, and clicking software update. If the beta version is waiting for you, click download and install and follow all the on-screen instructions to get the app on your phone. However, make sure you back up your iPhone first. Which phones have iOS 16.6? The same phones that have always supported iOS 16 will continue to run this update. That means any iPhone 8 or older. Although iOS 16.6 is quite polished, we recommend installing the beta software only on a stock iPhone and not on an everyday device. What's new in iOS 16.6 public beta? Right now, it looks like there's only one add-on from the iOS 16.6 beta, and it might not even be live right now. iMessage Contact Key Control Apple first announced plans to add a security key to Apple ID and iCloud accounts late last year and will offer the feature with the iOS 16.3 update in early 2023. Now it extends that capability to iMessage, allowing you to make sure the person you're messaging is who they say they are. Basically, after enabling iMessage contact lock control, you can chat with people who have also enabled the feature and receive alerts when Apple's cloud servers are breached. As you may have noticed, this feature isn't for everyone, Apple is adding it to people who typically face unusual digital threats. This means journalists, human rights workers and government officials who can be targeted by cyber attacks. Reports indicated that iMessage contact key verification appeared in the iOS 16.6 developer beta which became available a few days before the public beta. The same reports indicated that the feature appears to be a work in progress as activating it did nothing. Personally, I haven't seen any mention of checking the iMessage connection key in the messages section of settings, but security keys aren't enabled on my phone either. iOS 16.6 Public Beta Preview the public beta of iOS 16.6 is now in the hands of both developers and the public, so we should hear more about new software additions and fixes. But don't expect a huge list of improvements. iOS 16 is already almost complete as Apple prepares for iOS 17, which will be released as a full version later this year.